Hello everyone, well, my name is Lanzo90, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance. Sorry, my cat distracted me from getting up on the desk again, as usual. <clears throat> what? Watch what you're doing! There's people walking here! Didn't do anything, dude. I was just sitting here. I was thinking of taking a longer break between recordings, but for some reason I really wanted to come back to this game, so... I came back to this game. Is he hungry? No. Is he tired? Tiny bit. See, we could not do the thieving mission. So, we're going to call that quest line done. We already attempted to do that today. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if this is hands over here. Ooh. That guy who wants us to pickpocket someone. So we might do that. I would like to see if. Whoever this is is up. I think it's Hans, probably. Hans. He's a floor above, actually. Yeah. I guess it might be also Sir Bernard. Uh, come on, make your make your ramparts two men wide. What is Hayden's? Is the Lord be praised. Jesus. What brings you to me? Thank you, better. How goes it, sir? Are you recovered? I am. For all the good it does. <laughs> the boredom here. Now the look better. thing I have to read is the Bible. And the Hanush won't let anyone near me but the priest. Have you any idea the monotonous drivel that fella comes out with? This world is but a trial. Be repentant. <laughs> He talks to me as if I'm about to breathe my last. Actually, he talks to me as if I were already dead. Listen, Henry, won't you come with me to the Rate Baths? I, I need a change of scene before moss starts growing on me. <laughs> I think you do need a bath. But what about your wound, sir? Well, I won't lie to you. It hurts like the devil. But I'd rather hobble along with a cane, howling in pain, than listen to a selection of the most boring passages from the Gospels for one more minute. Why not? When do you want to go? I shall go there right away, but wait until at least dusk to join me. I'll have company there. All right, I'll come and join you there. About our hunt. All right, all right, I admit it. Trying to kill a ball with a bow and arrow wasn't the best idea I've ever had. <laughs> it was a nice shot, though. <laughs> Ian. Okay. He's been in that room for, like, days. I didn't realize we'd have to talk him out of there. <laughs> oh, why is there just a halberd here? Did I bump into someone? Hey, look, I got a horse now. Not as fancy as yours, but. It's better than he originally looked. And have this uh, coat of arms or whatever it is on him. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. You. God save you. What can I do for you? 
What are you hanging around for? Don't you have any work to do? No, I don't. Sigismund's marauders took everything I had and reduced me to beggary. What's it about? What's it about? Since I lost everything, I've been doing whatever I could to survive. Only, I got caught with my hand in someone else's pocket. And since then, I can't even set foot on the square without the catchpoles pouncing on me. So you're a pickpocket? All right, get to the point. But keep your hands where I can see them. My honestly begged Russian were taken from me by that bastard of a guard, Pazdera. He claimed I stole them and took them for himself, the swine. Well, if you can get them from his pocket back into mine, where they rightfully belong, I'll give you a share and teach you a handy trick too. What do you say? All right. I reckon I can manage that. How much coin are we talking about? Everything he has on him. Half is yours. Hmm. It all sounds a bit fishy. Well, take it or leave it. But if you get my money back from Pazdera the guard, I'm sure I can put some more work your way. I wonder if I have to steal it. I wonder if I can just steal it, though. Maybe I can talk him into it. Might as well give it a shot. I didn't try it last time. This is one side quest that I did do before uh, my first playthrough. Watch it, loud. Like how you can only pickpocket it from. Doesn't even give me an option to talk to. We'll be able to do it in the daylight. Last time I did it, I did it at night. Good neighbor, you. Maybe fix it with bad wood. Don't let your imagination run away with you. It's just a spot of bad luck. There's worse things. Look around you. There you go. There's Sigismund and his Tartar hordes marauding all over the country. We're all lucky to be alive at all. True. Thank the good Lord for that. How do you know who I am? That's a reputation anyway. One. Any other quest givers in town, really? It might be Bernard out there, actually. Now that I think about it. God bless. I'll do. Hey, Henry's come to see you. The Lord is <clears throat> Sorry about that. Thirsty. Just kind of curious if he had a maybe a particular spot where he's vulnerable. <clears throat> I think so. Though. I think we're just gonna of course teleporting into thin air. All right. Hands want to see us. Maybe we should take a peek at this other activity giver. Unless it's due immediately. Let's 
Seems like we might be getting, clearing through the, the side quest now too as well, at least in this area. That's the main thing I wanted to do. Wants to beat the shit out of us. But also save it in case this skips too much time to meet up with hands. God save you. God be praised. Go for the trophies. What's talking about? Can I ask? Oh, that might be the uh, bandit. What kind of a lord is Sir Hanush? I can't complain. He knows how to keep order, but he does it with good humor. What do you think of Sir Radzig? I hear he's on good terms with the king. Probably why Sir Hanush opened the door to him. Sir Radzig seems like a fair man, and folks say he's a good governor. What's young Lord Capon like? He'll be the governor here in a few years. Sir Hanush is just his guardian until he comes of age. The young Lord spends most of his time making merry. But he'll grow out of it. He's no fool. What's life like in Ratai? Till Sigismund came and then you folk, it was a fine, peaceful life here. What will become of the Scallets refugees? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. I hope things can settle down quick, and you lot can clear off. <laughs> Perikstein is a fine castle. It'll be even finer once you all clear out, and I can move back into my chambers. Jesus, Tim. Do you know who those soldiers of Sigismund's are, Captain? They call them Cumans or Kipchaks. Our lord says they fled from Kipchak. the Mongols to Hungary and settled there. They're herdsmen and excellent horsemen, and barbarians, too. Oh, what they claim they've turned to Christ. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. As I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. <laughs> Isn't that a bit barbaric? Barbaric ways for barbaric times, my boy. That does make sense, I must admit. <laughs> I have some uh, trophies. Let's see. Bastards deserved it. <laughs> 120 shit. I was hoping to get 100 each. That was disappointing. I was excited to get like a hundred, six hundred gold there, but no, nope. no such luck. What is that? Oh, that's the bandit camp. That's fine. Would have been nice to have that earlier. Not important right now, though. Uh, how much more time? God! I guess we could just ask Sir Hannah some stuff. Doesn't have a quest for us anymore, it doesn't look Lord like. But... Be what brings you to me? God be praised. 
Sir, I met the parish priest of Ujets, and I must say he's a very interesting man. I should say so. Have you ever seen him at swordplay? Not bad for a man of the cloth, is he? Rumour has it, when he finished his studies at the university where his father sent him, he decided the religious life wasn't for him and vanished to foreign parts. They say he made a living as a mercenary. I even heard he fought against the Turk at the Battle of Kosovo. And then he suddenly came back and settled down here. No doubt it cost his family plenty, but he's a fair man and I'm fond of him. There's a lot to be said for a priest with a good understanding of vice. Yeah, I have to start reading those entries now that they're not repeats of what we had before. Oh, we can take a peek at this little uh, church. This was the one that one of the YouTubers was going on about being incredibly accurate and all that stuff. All the artwork and then like even like the woodwork he said was like perfect. <clears throat> Let's just talk to some more people. I was thinking about playing dice to burn some time, but might as well talk to people. I haven't done that yet, really. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Can't make you anything. Thought there was gonna be a quest with this guy because that uh guard told us that there would that he might want to talk to him. More yours in full armor. I guess the game does use use and stuff, doesn't it? It uses English. The English version of words. <laughs> so I never I don't think I've ever seen warrior spelled with a uh with a u. That would be a a new one. One k May as well save up for that, huh? It's not as good as what we got. It's kind of hoping that we can find some kind of better helmet that doesn't look as bad. Rip his knife. It's actually pretty cheap. I'll buy that book. I think it's a skill book. We can use a shield with our sword. I don't know it's a two-handed sword. I think I'll keep trying to just use it as a a two-handed sword though. I think we were just kind of outclassed by that particular encounter we had trouble with. Read of the skill book, and then we'll pop over there and see if it's ready. Been galloped for so long now. Oops, wrong place.
Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Many tools not properly sharpened. That's often because their users don't take the time to maintain them. But keeping things sharp, all you need is a quality whetstone practice, practice, practice. Oh, wait, shit. Away on that one. I didn't realize it would take like an extra amount of time to read. Away and do that overnight. Though we might want to go tactics bandits at night. Let's take off our our armor though. Well, I don't want to have one for sure. There's only certain stuff it wants us to take off. It's the chosses, the curse, chain mail, and the hat. Lower R. Lower our looks, everything else though is okay. Just makes us look like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> I imagine you're supposed to buy a second set of clothes that are like out and about clothes so you're not wearing plate armor everywhere. But this should do. Big question is, is it dusk yet? And is Henry hungry? Save. You're a cape on. I don't have time now. Come after dark, Henry. <laughs> Right. Um, I guess we could go check what the marigold night auction needs. I imagine marigolds, but uh, I don't know what else. Extra money so that we can uh, so we can get those horseshoes. They seem like they're pretty good stuff. Marigold tie auction, nettle and marigolds. Whoever has been wounded or battered has bruises and wounds on his body. Let him try drinking this potion for recovery. It helps to heal wounds and gives the body strength to recover. Should not be enough though. Better call a physician. It also aids against hangover. Water, a handful of netherlands, and two Gary Gold. Drop the nettle into water and cook for one turn. Leap to cool. Drop in the marigold, but don't boil it anymore. Excuse me. Okay, that's pretty easy. I don't have the ingredients for it on me, but it's easy. Good old nettle. I bet that's specifically the reason why there's a lot of nettle nearby. Fairly convenient. If I do say so myself. I don't know if anything else is nearby. Uh, 
That'll seems like it's one of the more important ones because it's in both of our first recipes here. Marigold decoctions are worth a lot, then. I give beggars money. Uh. All right. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Try to burn time until the hands is ready. I can't use the litter box and it's very stinky. Find marigolds, which I think are fairly common out this way. We have ourselves dicoctions. Red ones are poppies. White ones are chamomile. Marigolds are like orange. They're dandelions. Hey, okay, these might be marigolds. Yes. It's kind of hard to tell the marigolds and poppies apart. See these these are poppies. Oh, they look incredibly similar. It's a difference between red and orange pretty much. Surprise her when she's experienced as you. Kitty, you stunk up the house. What did you do that for? Hmm? Oops, then I grabbed Andy Lines. Let's 
start. The bit boxes are so small. Alright, I just wish we had an alchemy tail at this place. Don't have to run all the way to town. By the time I get there, he'll probably say, he'll probably say, hey, go meet Sir Hands now. We're out of time for this video, though. Hope you all enjoyed, and have a good day.